Hi there YouTube, this is the Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer 2 online ladder battle. And yes, today we're playing Chaos again. And uh, this time we're going to be up against the Skaven. Sneaky, sneaky rats. So anyways, um, let's talk a little bit about my build here. So front lines, Chaos Marauders mixed in with Chaos Warriors. Uh, the Marauders are good enough against any of the any of the infantry that they're likely to bring uh, but the chaos warriors will give you that extra punch and durability to deal with being shot um, to hell which usually happens against Skaven and uh, being able to punch through the line quicker is going to allow them to get into the the next level which is really something you need to do uh, chaos spawn are going to be a big help with that so we have two of those in the back I have two chaos warriors with halberds these are to deal with hell pit abominations Throd on his big fat rat, um, all the different kind of monster mash stuff uh, that Skaven has now. I also brought two Chaos Feral Manticores. Um, these are just good for being able to dive in against their low armored leadership or, you know, key artillery pieces or mortars, things like that. And then also for dealing with all the harass, I bring two uh, Marauder Horsemen and two of the Chaos Warhounds with Poison. Uh, they're great for hunting down things that are running away, um, you know, using poison to slow them down and make them less effective. Let's take a look at my opponent here. He's brought a front line of three Skaven slaves backed up by, it looks like, two clan rats. In the back, there's also clan rat spears, two of those. The Council Guard, Plague Priest, uh, Pit Fighters of Hell's Deep, Poison Wind Mortar, Assassin, Rot. A lot of the things we were talking about. Skaven Slave Slingers. Got a couple of those. Um, yeah. So, oh, and some Rat Ogres here in the center. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. So, I brought uh, Sartorial. I forgot to mention that. He's got huge resistance to missiles. So, anytime you're playing like Vampire Coast or Skaven, he just seems to be the, uh, the go-to guy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start advancing. He has a mortar. I don't really have any uh, long range type stuff. And I'm going to use, you know, these harass elements, the horse masters or the horsemen and the uh, warhounds to kind of hook around here and be able to threaten his back. Uh, I also want to use the feral manacores in a, in a similar way, but in a later stage. So his mortar is going to open up fire on my chaos warriors. Even in the trees, it's doing you know pretty good damage. Mortars are just one of the most cost-effective units in the game. So you want to get rid of them as soon as you can. But until then, you're you're going to wear you're, you're going to take some fire. Let's just say that and get a little worn out. <clears throat> now, when you're going to use mobile forces like this to harass, one of the most important things is you got to get your timing right. Because if your infantry goes in and then they're late as far as your backline harass, that's not good. Or um, if you you know you dive in with this stuff and then you know your infantry takes 10, 15 seconds to show up, that's going to be bad as well. So you really want to try to time things. So you're going to see me doing that. Uh, a timing push here. Front lines are colliding. These marauders should be able to make pretty quick work with Skaven slaves. Uh, you can see they take a good bit of damage off the charge. My Chaos Warriors with Halberds have been targeted by his uh, artillery. And, I mean, just look at this mortar just wiping out these guys. Very, very devastating. So Arthorial is going to hit the front line, try to help uh, deal with these uh, Pit Fighters of Hell's Deep. Kind of punch through the middle. He's going to pull up the Council Guard to, to counter that. Uh, the Marauders and the, uh, the Chaos Warriors here in the middle after eating some mortar fire aren't doing so hot. You get my halberds in on Throt. I try to do damage to him. Uh, I got into his slingers with the uh, Chaos Warhounds. They're running here and now they're running there as well. And now I'm going to bring in the Manticores to try to deal with the Plague Priest. The Plague Priest is a big part of the scheme built. It's summon stuff and, and, and spells. You know, you just really want to get rid of goon this guy if you can. Uh, as you see over here, I've gotten into the mortar with some marauders and, and some help from Sartorial. We're able to break them off. Um, not making the most use of my horsemen right now. They're shooting planter out with spears in the back, but, you know, 
it's a lot to micro when you have this many things going on. Throt and Sartorial are going to have round one of a, a duel here. And uh, Sartorial, uh, Throt's really good in combat, but it, his thing is, you know, healing and, and a protracted type thing. He doesn't have much armor to, at all. Um, so Sartorial does a pretty good job on him, so he's going to run away. And he's quick. I mean, on that fat rat of his 95 speed, I mean, just impossible to catch. And when he runs, he gets that scurry away bonus, and it's even worse. So, uh, kind of a blob fight happening here. Uh, I chuck, you know, I chuck down final transmutation to try to uh, break that up a little bit. Some searing doom here on the clan rats. Going to send them on their way. Uh, and now it's really about dealing with the Hell Pit Abomination, Plague Monks, Plague Priest, his Assassin, Throt, you know, his nastier targets. Most of his little stuff I've, I've made run and can easily make run again. Um, the one thing I will say, the Plague Priest spells do not work too well against Chaos because of the armor uh, that, that we have. So that is one good thing about bringing Chaos against Skaven. Uh, Throt comes charging back in. He's going to be working on some of these Marauders, but... They can handle it. Uh, they're hanging in there pretty well. Uh, my Marauder Horseman, I'm just trying to, to get good angles, fire in as much as I can, bringing back the troops that retreat. Uh, so here again, Sartorial and Throt uh, throwing down. It's pretty close health-wise, and he has the Hell Pit Abomination right here, which is a concern. Uh, my spawn are working on it. Uh, but you're going to see it turns around uh, and, and joins the fight against Sartorial. And that's going to be pretty rough. Uh, he can't handle both of those. I mean, I have support here as far as infantry, but really no other character. It's just the Manticore that's working on the uh, Hell Pit Abomination. So you're going to see Throt, you know, with his, his healing, he's, he's tough. And the Assassin's in here stabbing at me. So I'm just trying to defend this stuff off. Um, but on the rest of the map, you know, things are very much my way. I've got some stuff rallying that I can pull back in. Uh, Marauders are trying to clean up these uh, Council Guard. Uh, Chaos Warriors with Halberds are on that as well. And then just this this big pit fight right here. And you're going to see Sartorial's very low, down to 84 health. I'm trying to get him out of there. Uh, and usually he's very slippery, uh, but not today. Uh, so he falls and... The bounce power is going to tip a little bit in the favor of the Skaven. So, with my Lord down, he's also my caster, I'm thinking I've got to even the score and, and deal with Throt here. So, the Marauder's going to start chucking at him, uh, the, the Horseman that is. And uh, they do pretty good damage to him because, again, uh, he's got very low armor. 45 armor is not a lot. I'm going to bring the Manticore in to try to pin him down because he's trying to catch the Horseman, which he certainly can because he's faster. Um, Manticore gets a nice bite on his butt there and another one into him. Horse Masters are thinking about running, uh, but they, they don't. Uh, and then I send them closer to kind of influence Throt's fear levels. And I'm going to use them to, to cause him the full out route. And you're going to see then the balance of power goes heavily in my favor. The assassin quickly is also dealt with. And uh, now it's really, really just some of his infantry and chaff remaining. And that's going to get us the victory. So let's take a look at how our army did. A good game to Hendrik Ulrich. Uh, it was a fun game to play. And definitely had me uh, on the edge of my seat a couple of times. Uh, Sartorial did very well. Marauders did their job. Chaos Warriors were not good across the board except for this unit of halberds. Horsemen were clutch. Uh, I would not come without Warhounds, so <laughs> no matter how they do, I'm happy with those. Uh, both the Manticores did well and the Chaos Spawn as well. Uh, for my opponent, Throt value, of course, he's always good. Plague Priest value, even though I tried to gun him early. Uh, his chaff got chewed up. Council Guard did really well. Mortar always does well. Uh, Pit Fighters did not. And the Hell Pit Abomination did decent. So I think this is a pretty good build with Sca uh, for fighting Skaven. I have been thinking about pulling the two Chaos Warriors and uh, subbing them out for some Forsaken. Uh, put them out on the flanks hoping they don't get shot because if you can get them into combat with Skaven they're going to just chew through them so fast. Uh, so maybe that's something we'll try in a future 
battle. But anyways, this is the Magnus. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the ladder.